So a question I get asked quite often is um, how we can set up uh, approvals on sales orders um, so that we can trigger a, an approval requirement rather than putting a customer on hold using the standard um, active and inactive boxes. I create a user defined field on the customer and then say whether um, the account is uh, on hold or otherwise. This means that I can still raise a sales order on the system, but I can use formatted searches then to ensure that if the account is on hold, the order has to go for a, an approval to a credit controller or somebody higher in the organization. In this illustration, I'm just going to show that we've extended that a little bit further into an area where we can look at the method of payment and the value of the order, um, along with the credit standing of the customer to determine um, whether or not a particular a given order requires approval. So therefore, we're only seeking approval on orders that um, um, meet or exceed certain criteria that we, we determine. So just taking this example, I have a simple order on here for 10 items at a tenner each, uh, plus the VAT that comes in at 123. And if you just keep an eye in this area here, when I select a payment method, so if I say in this instance, uh, we're going to pay by cash, um, as soon as I select that, then it says it's okay to proceed. And it's okay to proceed because the value is relatively low. If I just change this to credit card, it's still obviously okay to proceed. And if I increase the value then to um, a slightly higher amount, and then we just flick back. So we're looking at a, a value now of 1200 euro, and we're saying that the customer wants to pay by cash. Well, in this database, for whatever reasons, we decided that if someone's paying by cash, it does require approval. We need somebody to actually check that the cash is, well, you know, legal tender. Um, if they pay by credit card, it's still okay because we've set up a higher limit on credit cards, provided the credit card is, is, is produced. If, for example, though, the customer uh, suggested that they would pay us by bank transfer and that transfer was still pending, then that's simply going to require approval. If I just increase the value again, so now we're looking at a much higher value. So previously, when we chose the credit card option, that was absolutely OK. It was fine. But we have a limit on the credit card of 3000. So in this instance, then it exceeds that limit significantly. We require a, uh, an approval. Um, we also saw that we require approval if we have a pending bank transfer. But if our bank transfer has already been confirmed, then that's perfectly OK, even though it's a, a quite a high value. We've, we've confirmed it. Equally, if the customer were to give me a draft, a bank draft, then I'm happy enough to, to proceed with that. Uh, I can also set credit limits uh, on the customer, obviously, from within this as well. So regardless of how they're paying, if I choose um, uh, other options, I can then have other messages appear. So basically, whatever message I, I, I want or whatever criteria I specify uh, can trigger whether or not a, um, a sales order will Will go for approval or not. So the field that I have here that, that you also notice that the true or false word is appearing here. This is because this field is a formatted search and it's using a, uh, a SQL query which I've set up called uh, the FMS payment method approval process. So a true in this instance if the question being asked is does this sales sorry this sales order requires approval if it's true then obviously it does require approval uh, if it's false then it does not require approval and it's okay to proceed so rather than just having the words true and false here uh, for the end user it's much easier if we have some text that gives them feedback and tells them why we're requiring the approval so uh, along with just saying whether or not it requires approval we're also kind of putting in the reasons so we can do that so this this started out as a relatively simple uh, requirement where we're saying is the account on hold yes or no credit hold um, if it is then it requires approval if it's not then it does not require approval but even if the account is in good standing as this one is and it, it's not on credit hold there may in certain circumstances be other reasons why it, the order will still require approval so that's just a little illustration hope it helps and if you would like to get in contact to discuss it further uh, just leave a comment below thank you